Hey guys, today I have a really special video for you that's going to show you 10 life-changing tips for improving self-esteem. And let me just say before we delve into it that everyone can benefit from these tips. Also, I want to point out, you know, I know I just said 10 life-changing tips, and I don't want to sound all hypey, but it's because self-esteem is a characteristic that truly shapes your life. Self-esteem builds confidence and allows you to really just be who you are. It allows you to be your true self in every way. So with that said, here are 10 powerful principles to improve your self-esteem and boost your feelings of self-worth through continued practice. Now, as a quick disclaimer here, be aware that just knowing the info I'm about to reveal won't be enough to raise self-esteem. You have to actually go through the motions and practice what I'm about to preach. By taking action on these tips, you'll definitely feel a lot better in time. So here we go with tip number one, stop comparing yourself. Now I'm sure at one time or another you've looked at your neighbor, friend, family member, or coworker with envious eyes. You know, you've been enamored with someone else's big salary, picturesque family life, perfect looks, you know, uh, ripped six pack, <laughs> whatever. Everyone on occasion falls victim to feeling inadequate as a result of someone else's accomplishments. I'm going to tell you right now, if you want to improve your self-esteem, the very first thing you need to start doing is throw this habit out the window. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Be your own person and love the skin you're in. When you compare yourself with others, only two possible outcomes can arise. The first outcome is you compare yourself with someone who's less fortunate than you. Now this can bring about feelings of gratitude where you learn to appreciate what you have. And this scenario can have the effect of actually boosting your self-esteem, which is good. The problem is when you become habitual with this comparing mentality, you start more often than not comparing yourself with people who have qualities you don't possess. You know, more money, less weight, fancier cars, attractive counterparts, career, children. There are endless factors that make up who we are. And when you start comparing yourself with other people, you'll tend to focus on factors that you envy rather than the strengths and fortune that you already possess. Next, I want you to keep your thoughts positive. We all have this constant monologue running through our brain, and it's just impossible to turn off that inner voice. If you're constantly thinking negative thoughts that reinforce feelings of low self-esteem, the result will be just that. It's so important to stay aware of your thinking and not fall into the habit of self-deprecation or talking down to yourself. So look for your strengths in everyday life and make it a practice to continually pat yourself on the back for all your amazing qualities. You've got to create a habit here, and that's the habit of self-appreciation. You can begin this new way of thinking every morning in the shower. The shower is a great place to spend even just five minutes meditating on how good you really are. Congratulate yourself on every victory or success, no matter how small. You know, every little self-compliment, it will add up to greater feelings of self-worth. So try using affirmations, uh, you know, as well. It really forces you to engage in the exercise through a dependable mantra, you know? And using affirmations, it doesn't have to be complicated, and you don't have to repeat a wild chant or a long-winded prayer or anything like that. An affirmation is simply a way of asserting your confidence with a statement. When you repeat an affirmation, you're essentially confirming a belief in yourself out loud. And this can feel silly the first time you do it, but it really is a healthy way to exercise your self-esteem. And once again, the morning shower is a great way to work this practice into your life without taking up a lot of time. One of the easiest ways to use affirmations is to make short lists of positive factors in your life. And we'll get into that in a little bit, but just a quick example, you could say, you know, I'm an excellent listener, a talented artist, a hard worker, a kind person, I'm, I'm well read, I'm amazing in the kitchen, I have beautiful teeth, <laughs> whatever. Just list out the qualities that make you feel good about yourself and feel proud as you reflect on your good fortune. Feel good to be you. Number three is accept all compliments with thank you. You may find that a lot of times you'll receive a compliment and respond with, oh, it was nothing, or it's no big deal, you know, whatever. I want you to know that this is a huge way to sabotage self-esteem. 
When you essentially refuse a compliment, you're telling yourself that you're not worth the compliment. You devalue yourself. I know this may sound kind of overdramatic. You're not thinking at the time that the compliment is given, you know, oh, I'm, I'm not worthy of praise. But in fact, the action of turning down the compliment by brushing it off, it sends a message to your subconscious brain, which in turn lessens your confidence and feelings of self-worth. You're reinforcing the bad by not embracing the good, basically. So instead, accept every compliment with thank you. It's a simple answer that will allow you to feel just good about yourself and satisfy the person giving the compliment. So remember, you can't lose by just saying thank you. Number four, find positive input. It is so important to engage in activities that make you feel good. You know, read books that inspire you, watch movies that make you laugh. One thing I like to do is watch some kind of motivational or inspirational clip on YouTube every week. Something that really puts my mind in a hopeful, positive light. Another way to find positive input is to create a new challenge for yourself. This could be something like learning a new language, mastering a skill, or just working towards self-improvement in some area of your life. You want to associate with supportive people. Nothing lowers self-esteem faster than associating with people who make you feel bad about yourself. Unfortunately, this is a common scenario for people with low self-esteem. They tend to group with people who they seek approval from. It's a scenario that sabotages self-worth because they'll always be worried about what members of the group think of them. And break this habit by finding people who love you from the get-go. Hang out with people who accept you unconditionally and respect who you are. And by the way, people won't respect you for who you are until you respect you for who you are. So work towards that goal first. Make a list of past successes. A great way to exercise self-esteem is to celebrate all of your past success. Take the time to write down all your accomplishments, you know, no matter how small, and just bask in the light of your achievements. Seeing your success on paper, it can make even the smallest victory more gratifying. You also want to list your positive qualities. Much like the last tip, seeing how awesome you are on paper is great. However, this tip has the added bonus of showing you what kind of person you are. By knowing your strengths, you'll be able to focus on actions that give you positive results in life. And as illustrated by the picture here, this strategy works well in both personal life and business. You want to do good for others. You know, day-to-day -day life presents us with opportunities to do good deeds for others. It could be someone who needs help opening a door, someone who needs help finding exact change for that vending machine in your office's break room. You know, whatever the situation, it doesn't matter how big or small, choose to help when you can and you'll feel better for it. You want to find your passion. We all feel better when we're productive. After finding your strengths through some of the exercises listed here, you'll definitely know where your skills pack the biggest punch. Find your passion in business, volunteer work, school, or study, and fortify your feelings of self-worth. Everyone has a talent, everyone has a skill. Know yourself and follow your heart. Number 10 is be true to yourself. Staying true to your character in any situation is what defines your integrity. Be moral, be kind, and strive to do the right thing in any situation. When you have a strong moral compass, you'll always be comfortable in your own skin. And remember, don't let fear and anxiety hold you back from good self-esteem. Take the time every day to work on it using the strategies outlined here, and you know, you'll be well on your way. Also, I'd love to hear some of your own comments on what kinds of things you do to improve your self-esteem. So please chime in below and feel free to bring something to the table that I haven't added here. So that's it for today. All the best, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.